Hello everyone, I'm Jessica with Black Travelers Network, where we provide trips that focus on the Black experience in different parts of the world, and we cover news stories that impact the African diaspora. Reuters reported that Iran has started the second wave of attacks against U.S. occupied bases in Iraq. Other threats coming from Tehran speak about an attack on U.S. territory. Iran just threatened that if the United States re retaliates, Hezbollah will attack Israel. Iranian Revolutionary Guard threatens to strike Haifa in Israel and Dubai in the UAE if the U.S. retaliates against ballistic missile attacks. Other voices say Iran is talking about attacking the U.S. homeland. There are only speculations on how that could work. Iraqis claim 20 dead while the U.S. is not releasing numbers after claiming zero. The United States has 60,000 troops in the region. The White House is preparing for a possible address by President Trump. Iran's Islamic Revolution Guards Corps has called for a complete withdrawal of United States troops from the Arab country, asserting that it would not differentiate between United States and Israel in retaliating against the assassination of the Iranian national hero. In the meantime, both sides agree in saying independently they do not want a full-fledged war between the USA and Iran. This is bad for business. There's no other way around it. Dubai has a lot to lose in this conflict, and mainly because they are set to host the World's Fair starting October of this year, and they've already spent billions of dollars in preparing and will continue to spend billions of dollars to host this World's Fair. There have been a number of reports that have simply said that Iran wants to take the necessary military action to retaliate against the United States because of the killing of their military leader. All of the reports simply indicate that Iran just wants to have the opportunity to retaliate and that be it. They do not want to get into a back and forth where they retaliate and then the United States retaliates and before you know it, it's a full on war. That's not what Iran wants, at least based on all of the reports that have been coming out of the region. However, it's a question as to whether or not the United States will retaliate and escalate the matter. Do you think the United States is going to respond to Iraq's recent attacks on U.S. military bases? Drop your comments below. Let us know what you think. Would you still travel to Dubai given this type of environment? We want to hear from you.